Hey guys, it's Gabby, and today we're making Mexican corn and quinoa salad, and I can promise you, your lunch game will forever be changed. So you can make it ahead of time, like prep it on a Sunday, and then take it for work all week long. Here we go. All right, first things first, we're going to take a cup of quinoa, and don't drop it on the counter. I've done it before, it's not pretty. Just dump that into your sauce pot. One part quinoa for two parts of water. And you could also use veggie broth, chicken broth, beef broth, whatever you want. I'm just using water today because we're getting so much flavor from everything else. It's totally fine. We're just gonna pop this on the stove, bring it to a boil, and cook it off. All right, so just give that a quick little stir, and then we're gonna make our avocado sauce. And we're just going to take the, we don't even have to slice it or dice it, you're just gonna take your spoon and run it along the sides of the avocado, like skin and dump it right into your blender. We're gonna take our lime and just give it a quick slice in half and put in half the juice of this to start. And we'll season this with a little bit of salt and pepper. So this is kind of making like a guacamole dressing, if you will. All right, we'll put in a little pepper and a little bit of salt. Pop the top on and then let her go. So we need a little bit more liquid, so we'll just squeeze in a little bit more lime juice. And if we need more than that, we'll just stream in a touch of water. So just turn that on. I'm just gonna transfer this to a little bowl so you can see how creamy it is. Okay, quinoa's cooked off, so we're just gonna take that and literally just dump it into a large bowl. Make sure you get everything out. And then this is gonna come together so quickly. So that's why I'm saying make it on Sunday and take it for lunches throughout the week. Like, it's, it's mindless. Okay, that's all in. And to this, we are going to add the raw corn, which I, people are like scared of raw corn. It's so good and it's crunchy, it's perfect. Plus it's great for this time of year. So all the corn goes in. We're, then we're gonna dump in the green onion and the jalapeno. Then we're gonna dump in our Monterey Jack cheese. To that, we're going to add that avocado mixture. And then we're gonna give everything a stir to combine. <gasps> this is my favorite thing. And then we'll give this a seasoning of salt, Maldon sea salt, a little bit of pepper. And then the Chipotle chili powder. Just sprinkle a little bit in. And then the last couple things we have to do is pick off some cilantro leaves. And if you're doing this ahead of time, you could add cilantro the day of so it doesn't kind of wilt and die, but I plan on eating this right now. So we'll put in some cilantro. And then the last part of it is some cotija cheese. And if you've never had cotija cheese, it's amazing. It's like a crumbly, hard Mexican cheese. If you can't find it, you can use feta. Break off a little piece. Like, look at this. It's very therapeutic to do this. I don't, I don't know why. But just sprinkle some in there. And then everything gets tossed to combine and we can eat it. All right, so we're just gonna spoon up a little portion. I mean, this is a very modest portion for me. Normally, I will actually eat a lot more later, but for, for now, this is good. We'll put a little bit more cotija on top. Okay, we'll give it a quick try. I mean, it's like quinoa salad meets guacamole with corn and cheese. What more could you ask for? You're gonna love it. 